This video provides an explanation of the solution to your test 1, question 1, part B. The required of part B asks to present only the equity section of the consolidated SFP of the Pyramid Limited Group as of 31 March 2020, so that's my current year end, in accordance with IFRS. If you have to prepare the equity section of the consolidated SFP, it is important to understand that you have to calculate closing balances. A good approach would be to prepare a consolidated statement of changes in equity without the proper narratives and wasting time with that, but then that serving as a calculation. This would involve calculating opening balances and current year movements to get to the closing equity balances. The second bullet in the note gives you important information. It says consider starting your calculations with a given amount and adjust where and if necessary. If the question setters give you a tip like this, consider applying the suggested approach as this might be the easiest way to get to the correct answer. Please look at some of the additional information um, extracted from the question. This is an extract from additional information, point four. The directors of Pyramid chose to measure the NCI in the ordinary shares and the non-controlling interest in the non-cumulative preference shares of Sphere Limited at acquisition date, which is 1 April 2017, at their fair values. Please remember this for purposes of additional information 5 that we're going to look at later on. Both NCI in the ordinary and preference shares should be measured at fair value on acquisition date. Then it tells you that um, the last non-cumulative preference div dividend declaration prior to 1 April 2017, so prior to acquisition date, had been on 31 March 2015, and no dividends were declared by Sphere Limited during the period 1 April 2017 to 31 March 2019. So that tells you that the non-cumulative preference share dividend have not been declared by ACE for the two years before acquisition date and also not during the two years in the since to opening balance period. But because it's non-cumulative preference shares, these dividends are not in arrears for any of these periods. The last thing on this page, on 31 March 2020, so that's my current year end, Sphere Limited declared an ordinary dividend. S can only declare an ordinary dividend if they also declare a preference dividend. Therefore, the non-cumulative preference dividend must have been declared during the current year. Let's have a look at additional information point five. On 31 March 2020, so that's my current year end again, the accountant of the Pyramid Limited Group prepared only the following consolidation journal entries in order to prepare the consolidated financial statements. So this point five indicates the console journals that the client already prepared. These represent the two ad acquisition consolidation journals for the ordinary and the preference shares and the since acquisition consolidation journal entries measuring NCI's opening balance. No current year consolidation journal entries have been prepared yet. At the bottom of point 5 of the additional information, these bullets provide information on the principles applied by the client in preparing these consolidation journal entries above. But if you read it properly, you would realize that the client made some errors in preparing these consolidation journal entries. The errors that was made is the following. Bullet 1. Both NCI in ordinary and preference shares should have been measured at fair value at acquisition date. We just read it above. NCI in the ordinary shares was, however, incorrectly measured at their proportionate share at acquisition date. The second bullet, the non-cumulative preference shares was treated as cumulative. From what we read earlier, there was an indication that for two years prior to acquisition date and the two years since acquisition date that no preference dividend was declared. 
But if it was treated as cumulative, this means that any dividends in arrears was attributed to the preference share equity participants, the parent and NCR, why this should not have happened. The third bullet, the intra-group interest consolidation journal entry does not change group profit. Therefore, it should also not change the profit or equity attributable to NCR. The client did, however, adjust the profit of S in the prior year for the effect of this journal, resulting in an error in the profit attributable to NCI in the prior year. And please remember, any error made in a prior year profit will be included in the opening retained earnings in all subsequent years. If we look at additional information point six, it says that after these journal entries that we've looked at under point five were taken into account, the accountant calculated the following opening balances in the draft consolidated statement of changes in equity. So if we look at that and we look at the journals that have been processed, it means that the at acquisition and since to opening balance calculations and journals have been done by the client, but it includes the effect of errors made by the client. So that's why the note in the required suggested that you should start with these opening balances given and then just adjust for the effect of the errors. Additional information point seven if we look at the journals in point five above, you will see that there was goodwill of 84 to 50 that originated on the ad acquisition journal entry on the ordinary shares. This point tells you that this goodwill has been included as a non-current asset in the draft consolidated financial statement. So this means that the incorrect goodwill that was calculated in the question was not offset against the incorrect gain from bargain purchase that the client calculated. Only the 145,000 gain from bargain purchase that originated from the ad acquisition elimination of the preference shares was included in this opening retained earnings calculated by the client. It's important that you see that from point seven as well as from the journals given under point five above.